Uh, welcome to this week's class. Uh, so starting from this week, uh, we will move on to a different topic. Uh, so that is intro to data science. Uh, we have spent about nine weeks uh, in learning the basics of the Python. So starting from this week, we will see that how we can use Python to analyze data. All right, so before I start, I just want to think about like what happens in the 30 seconds. So we have more than 100 million spam emails are sent. Uh, you have also received a lot of emails from me <laughs> before this class began. Um, so I contributed some of those um, uh, spam emails. Um, Netflix users stream more than 60,000 hours of videos. So especially during this pandemic. So think about that, how many videos uh, you have watched. Um, you have watched at home. YouTube users watch more than 4 million videos. And also all our labs and also actually our um, video lectures are hosted on YouTube. So we also contributed some of those uh, watching hours. <clears throat> and there's more. OK, and also this data is uh, from 2018, uh, I think. So there are huge amount of data that generated at each single second by human beings. OK, so how can we analyze data that from this, you know, huge amount of data in different data format? And also sometimes we need to analyze the data in very f at very fast speed. So nowadays, organizing data I and mean, installed data is not the problem. So we all have the massive data storage uh, to store the data in the cloud uh, at a local databases, etc. However, the problem is that to, is that to, to is not finding the data. The problem is to analyze the data. So how can we get data? How can we get insights from the data? And also how can we make uh, decisions or take actions from the data? So that is an important part that we are facing today. So this is from my anal this slide is from uh, another class that I offered during the uh, winter semester. So that is a big data analytics. Uh, so basically, we have um, four components. So we we have to collect the data, and we have to uh, store the data, and we have to process the data. So the data that can, uh, collected from the uh, the resources may need to transform and also cleaned, and lastly, we need to uh, analyze the data, and also we need to visualize the data. OK, so the data can be semi structured, um, can be structured. So structure means that the data are organized into tables, just like Excel files. However, Excel is not considered a structured data. semi structured data, one example is JSON. OK, so that like dictionaries, so those are the semi structured data. Um, and also unstructured data, unstructured data like um, videos, images, and also TXT files. Okay, so those are all unstructured data. So uh, for structured data or semi-structured data, we can use database to store those data. So in the data mining class, we will introduce different type of the databases. Uh, for structured data, we can also use a data warehouse, so which is the more powerful uh, uh, data component that support complicated queries. For all those type of data, we can also always save that in a data lake. So data lake is a relatively a new um, concept. So that is a central repository that hosts all the data you need, which can be structured, semi-structured, and also unstructured. And once we have the data being stored, we need to process and also analyze the data so that uh, the data can be uh, um, in a, in a format that we can visualize or we can uh, um, uh, create insights. 
So the analysis, like you can sort the data, make aggregations, drawing data from multiple resources. Uh, you can also apply your business logic so that you can produce a meaningful data sets. And finally, we can make queries. So for example, uh, for the relational database, so we can use SQL, okay, which is a very famous uh, data querying language that we will introduce in the uh, data mining class. Uh, we can also visualize the data by using different business intelligence tools that uh, we will introduce, for example, Tableau, uh, QuickSight, etc. that we will talk about one in the data visualization class. So if you take, if you are going to take my data mining and also data visualization class. All right, uh, so what is data science? So what we always talking about data science nowadays. So are we data scientists? And also what are we, what we are doing? Does that considered uh, data science? So when we talk about data science, we already oh, we always mention this chart. So data science actually include uh, three uh, domain knowledge. So you need to understand the basics of the math and of statistics. For example, that how to calculate average, mean, median, etc. So those are the basic knowledge that you have to have. So if you don't understand those stuff, you cannot analyze them data. Uh, you also need your domain knowledge. So for example, either you are in geography or in intelligence analysis or in ISAT. So you have your domain knowledge. So for example, my, I got my PhD in geography. So I know um, GRS a lot. So that my domain, logic, my domain uh, knowledge is spatial data. So I know that how to analyze spatial data. And finally, so you need some hiking skills. So that is part of the purpose of this class. So hiking skills does not mean that you're going to do something that is fancy. It just means that the ability that to use computers. OK, so for example, Python. OK, is one of the important hiking skills that you can let computers to do some job for you. OK. And this is a danger zone, so you may be curious, or you may also notice this one. So what is a danger zone? So that means that if you know how to use Python, and also you know that the domain knowledge, however, you don't understand the basics of the math or the statistics, and that is very dangerous because you, you may be able to generate something, okay, but that is totally a mistake. Okay, that is totally wrong. So if you don't know, pay attention to statistics or the math. Okay, so math is very important and you all have, so that's why it is required. Um, and also your uh, Python or the other programming skills are also very important. And also depending on which major you are, so y'all, you should also build your own um, domain knowledge. So you should be an expert in your field. OK, so that is uh, also three components will be considered the data science.